Hey, what is up everybody? It's your boy Moist Mercenary and I am back with another what if video. This time, what if Earth Eagle was the villain? Earth Eagle, owned by Subasa in the anime, is a stamina defense type thing. I think it's typically classified as defense. Uh, he did have a whole character arc in which he was becoming a villain or being consumed by the dark power that Ryuga had to deal with. Or at least I think that's how it was going. So I decided to see what would happen if his bay evolved through that dark power that he was dealing with and let it consume him. And that's where I got the combo. Fusion Eagle, upper wing 145, around sharp. A uh, bit of explanation, I chose the green eagle wheel with this uh, pretty nice face bolt just uh, to have it look different from the original eagle. A bit of a different color scheme. I chose the fusion fusion wheel as it has pretty good defense and a fair bit of stamina, especially if you have it in the lower mode for the metal with the rubber on top. And upper wing because eagle, obviously. And around sharp, uh, another wide defense-like tip. I just, uh, I don't use it very often. I don't see it used very often. So I just wanted to see uh, how good I can make it, you know? Uh, I know it's not particularly a great tip. And sorry, just trying to fix my setup here. But... You know, we can still see how this thing does. And, yeah, let's get into the battles I have planned. The first battle being against Bakushin Leon. I know I use this in a lot of my videos, but it's a very consistent test, I guess. Plus, if you haven't seen it already, you can go check it out in the on my channel. I'll see if I remember to put a link in the description below. But besides that, we have the El Drago Guardian combo that I made as the good El Drago. Be sure to check out that video if you haven't already, released a couple days ago. And the final battle, I'm gonna be putting it against its former self to see if this is an improvement or to test its stamina against what is honestly one of the best stamina or longest, just, uh, I don't know what to call it besides it's really good. So let's go ahead and get right into the battles. All right, so for the first battle, of course, we have Bakushin Leon. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I actually was not expecting this to get a knockout. I'm not sure why that got a knockout, actually. This isn't a particularly heavy recoil bay. Unless there's something I don't know about the fusion metal wheel, but I mean, this battle seems definitely a lot more calm. I'm interested to see who's going to win the stamina battle here. Unfortunately, uh, upper wing doesn't quite have great LAD, so it just kind of scraped itself to death, that battle. Uh, moving on. Okay, that looks like a 2-1 right now. That might have just been a snipe, but... I did... I did like this color scheme. I love the green with the red, especially seeing it spin. It's like watermelon color, so I guess, uh, as my friend called it, a modern welling, where the red is on the outside and the green is on the inside. It is potentially the simultaneously best and worst word I have ever heard in my life. Let's 
switch attack, unfortunately having a... Or not switch, yeah, switch attack. Yeah, 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 that's what this track is called. Switch attack uh, destabilized it very easily. There, so we're back to a 2-2. Next round breaks this time. interesting knockouts again so we're here with an unfortunate loss for eagle but a pretty good win for uh bakish and leon again check out his video where i originally made him it's a pretty cool combo and of course next battle is against a drago guardian let's see how this one goes i don't have high faith in the tanking capabilities but i mean there is a way to sort of improve it and that is gonna be in the fusion metal wheel as you can see it's made of these three parts and so if you flip the rubber and the metal to then be oriented like this it has much less stamina but way better defense against low height combos is, is what we're facing here now um if you wonder why the stamina is much lower I believe there is a mechanic in Burst, forgive me, I'm not too familiar with Burst, where uh, the layer can be adjusted to be on top or in a higher position rather than in the standard position. And the higher position typically isn't as good because it throws off the balance and makes it way too top heavy. That's similar to what happens here. And pretty much killing the stamina, but should hopefully give it better defense and maybe we could even see him spin steal from a left spin beyblade let's see okay great start let me just go again okay never mind yeah you can see he's very gracefully tanking here or 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 not very gracefully tanking here. He is being kind of tossed around, but we're getting to the spin equalization bit in. Now, Draco is mostly making contact with rubber here. You know, Eagle should be able to sprint steal and definitely win an LAD match, hopefully. Yep, there we go. We saw Eagle rotated just a couple more times there. just to stop the stadium moving around, but uh, Drago just refuses to follow that rule. Uh, a tornado stall, by the way, is not going to go well for him on LRF. Oh, wow. Still almost able to get a knockout here, but that around shot actually did catch the ridge pretty well, so I'm a bit impressed, and... He's definitely going to win the stamina battle here again against Guardian El Drago. Uh, El Drago's thing being stolen and used right against him. Yeah, uh, Fusion Eagle spun just a little bit more. Let's see if he can get a knockout in this next battle or if Eagle is just that good. beautiful hits here but eagles tanked it very very well we can hear the around sharp sort of catching on the stadium bridge when he's supposed to be knocked out and i really do like that about around sharp it's just unfortunate that like outside of this it's not very great but i mean this combo is proving to be very very powerful and yeah we see he just barely outspun once again very good performance of around sharp and the fusion metal wheel it's just this spin track might not be the best pick for this combo uh upper wing is definitely a much better attack track anyways let's move on to this last battle where eagle faces off against himself
Alright, as you can see, I switched right back to the rubber up position now that we're fighting someone of equal... And he still actually does outspin uh, Fusion Eagle. Of course, the Fusion Fusion Wheel, Fusion Metal Wheel uh, is pretty good, but I think the Around Sharp in the, um, the Around Sharp and Pair... Here we see Eagle pretty much just win, but I'm going to switch the metal back real quick and we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, let's see if this changes things. So far, Fusion Eagle is two down against Earth Eagle. So let's see if we can catch up that lead this time. Metal up. It affects it much more, I think. Or actually, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> it actually did manage to outspin here despite the the change. Let's see. Maybe I should have done this in the own battle. Finally getting some contact here. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Uh, so yeah, apparently this metal, I guess it makes sense that because of these big spikes on either end, when things get caught underneath it and hit by that or caught above it in this mode, maybe that was what was making it so aggressive. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try this on a low height combo at some point because that was kind of crazy to see that, that, ooh. Uh, I want to see this on like CH120 or something. This could definitely knock out some bait. Um, I'm I'm sorry that I <laughs> I don't know what to say. This thing just got itself knocked out because of that. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you did think of this video. Let me know what you would have done differently to make an evil eagle combo. I know there's definitely some other things that could have been used. Many other wheels. Um, I would have used Jade, but that feels more like an evolution wheel. Then it is a uh, evil wheel for their day. I mean, there are already theories out there that Jade was meant to be an eagle evolution, but they changed it to Jade Jupiter instead. Which, you know, oh well, Subasa never got his evolution, but... Anyways, I'm gonna stop it there, guys. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. Let me know what you would do differently, of course. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell, check out Exotics' server in the description below. And... That's about it. I'll see you guys next time.